Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Icewind Dale. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we go into a place full of bad creatures that are attacking me. And, uh, well, they were attacking me before, I killed them a little bit, and then I went back because we had the, the Lizard King in the last episode. So, hello. There's gonna be more of them. For sure there's gonna be more of them, it's really hard to see where we're supposed to go. I'm gonna say that the map... No, I think I can see the map. That's the edge of the map. That's potentially the edge of the map. I'm not actually sure how the engine works, but uh, we do have a, a tough lizard man up there, being tough and lizard and man. Also that bit. Uh, these oh no, it's a face spider. I think we're gonna be fine. Well, so <laughs> maybe not so fine that uh, that we don't need to worry because we do need to worry. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Oh, I'm still using this thing. I shouldn't be. I did a bad. I did a bad. Okay, so who? Menhara. Menhara lost target. Hmm. Okay, well, you can stay there, because... Yeah. Oh, you're poisoned. Can I heal you? What's that? Oh, it's summon spirit animal that never works for some reason. I... Am I mistaking how that is supposed to work? Possibly. Okay, we have antivenoms for days. That shouldn't be an issue. Uh, let's just wait until we kill these things, because... My adventuring days are almost over. No, this is fine. Yeah, let's take the potion. Oh, you died. Okay, well, it wasn't fine. As it turned out, it was bad. And we died. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, uh, as I was saying, you shouldn't have been using that particular spell. Uh, face spiders are the worst, and I also, I don't, I really don't remember them. Uh, what is that? Oh, this is Tough Lizard Man, sure. I really don't remember them. Uh, ooh, interesting. Didn't come over here. Don't remember them being immune to plus uh, to normal weapons in Baldur's Gate. But by the time we fought them, it is possible that we all had plus one weapons. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter because we have only one way of fighting them, and it's one at a time. Just so yeah, I can keep my major spellcaster not dead. Okay, you're here. Oh, there's another one. It sees me. It sees me. Okay, everybody attack, except, no, you attack with that, and there's a lot of spidery spiders, and uh, you attack with that, and you fall back, and I, I don't want you wasting your ammo. There's no need to. It should be fine. I'm not sure what it's trying to attack, or who it's grown in, for sure. There we go. Sounds good. Yeah. You can't mess around with these things. You absolutely cannot mess around. <laughs> you see how they they, ha they are so... They have such a, a weird movement range, effectively. They will walk, but it's just very little. And uh, now we have a little bit of poison here. You should have antidote. Let me see. Antidote. Drink that. You drank it immediately? No, you did not. Because you still had your action, but that worked out. Okay. <sighs> now... There's gonna be more. You know, where there's one, there's a thousand. Uh, we have a Bombardier Beetle. That's not bad. I'll just switch some of these weapons around just in case, because that Beetle is gonna come over here and start farting on us, as it does. Okay, well, that didn't uh, pan out the way I thought it was gonna pan out, but I'm happy with that. Also, there's another one. I didn't see you. Sorry. Let's see what I can do. There's another one. I think there's another one. The game auto-paused again. That, well, there is another one, but mm, I'm not sure if we... Mm, well, it's... My god, they're just spawning. Are they spawning? Oh, there's a sword spider. Okay, let's uh, get you in there. Although this is dangerous. Okay, go, go, go. You, plus one. Right there. You don't do anything. You just go over here. Do you have enough ammo for things? Yes, you do. And then you don't do anything. Do you have enough ammo? Yes, you do. Okay. And uh, let's see what we can do here. What are you trying to? Nah. Oh, we're missing. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. These sort of spiders, I think, are faster than normal. I'm not sure. They, they definitely move very fast. Down it goes. Okay. Oh, yeah. They, they do so much damage. Oh, they are higher level. 2,000 experience for a sword spider. That means the, the face spider 
I, I always thought the face spider was, was tougher. But the, honestly, here, yeah, the, the sword spider is attacks very fast. That's the problem. It doesn't seem to be venomous, though. So, that's good. Okay. Get that done. We can bring you up here. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be an exit or something. Let's just li leave this turned on. And by exit, I mean more spiders. Oh, there's all the, the bombardier beetles. They're just hugging the wall over there. That's fine for them. Now you bring everybody down here. Let's get some of our equipment ready. Are they going to come? Yes, they are. Okay. Reposition. There they are. And there's the farts. Uh, it's a little bit of a deafen or something, or disorientation. Yeah, that's that's not going well. These guys are tough. These guys are really tough. Oh, but they only attack once, though. Okay, we're gonna rest. Because we can afford the rest, I think. And, uh, that's... Oh, man. I need to be careful, because the front line... Oh, my God, the, the positioning. The jiggling! Okay, because I don't know where the creatures that are going to spawn when we rest. I don't know where they're going to spawn. They're going to spawn over there. It's just tough lizard men. Okay, that's not too bad. Let me pull you back because I know where they are going. Let me keep pulling you back over here. Oh, where are you trying to go? <laughs> You're still trying to pursue her. My god. Single-minded until the end. It's good. It's a good experience. It's, it's a good amount of experience to get, you know... It's not about farming them, but it is about taking the opportunity, when you can, to, uh... No, oh, there's more beetles and things. Oh, my God. No, that was... that we successfully arrested. There's just another sword spider. As one does. Okay, so let's just get everybody... Well, actually, not everybody. Not you or you. To attack the sword spider. I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, there's... What is that? That is a troll. Also... You are taking damage for days. Let's try to prevent that from happening. Wow, they're just coming up here. Why? Oh, that's bad news. Oh, that's also bad news. You guys handling that up there? My god. Kill the spider already. Okay, switch to that. Uh, switch to that as well. Go, go, go. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know what the spider is trying to do. Oh my god. Okay, the spider is out, and we can attack you specifically. I can use a bow for that, and uh, you're going to get out of there and potentially get killed, although the troll seems to be a little bit faster. Are you going to fit through there? Yes, you are. Oh, that works out. Okay. So... Ooh, boy. Can't fight. No, can't. Can't fight much. Okay, go and kill that. Uh, you can you can definitely use potions, but it's not gonna get you much farther than you are already at. Uh, okay, who is dying so much? It's you. Okay, kill it. Can't fight. My hurt longer. Hmm. Let's get you out of there. I don't know if the troll. I'm not actually seeing if the trolls are immune to. To um. Oh my god. If the trolls are immune to to normal weapons. There it is. Okay. Okay, you need another healing. This keeps you out of death's door. The troll is knocked out. Okay, this is pretty important. So everybody attacks there, apart from you who can flee over this way. And then uh, we have fire damage. We need to do fire damage. Which shouldn't be a problem. Or acid damage, actually. Mm-hmm. We have acid damage, right? Well, we have burning hands. Let's see what you're gonna do. You're not you don't seem to be doing anything. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure why it wasn't, but you know how pathfinding works, I've shown you. So burning hands is AoE. It's a cone. Oh my god, get out of the way. Okay, so that should Allow me to kill the troll. I don't know who the troll is attacking, but that's a kill. And I think the troll just not got knocked out. Okay, everybody fall back. And we have another Burning Hands. 
Get out of the way. Okay. Wow, what a mess. Oh. oh, well, we don't really have another burning hands. We might have something up here. Hmm. No, no, we don't have anything. Hmm. Wall of moonlight. What's that? Is that acid? Magic damage? No. Hmm. I really thought we had something with acid. What is that? Oh, that's the berserk. The rage. Right. Defensive stance. Yeah. I never do that. What is that for? It lowers your uh, attack rating. No, it gives you 50% resistance to all forms of physical damage and a plus two saving throws. Um, to saving throws. And also a 50% mov movement rate penalty for one turn. Hmm. Which I believe is like 10 rounds. Somebody explained to me in the comments, but I, I was bad. Uh, is it the acid... Uh, acid arrows that I have somewhere. High quality. Bol bolt. I mean, this... This takes care of business. Not you, though. You. It definitely takes care of business. All I need is to hit. There it is. And it was a single point of fire damage. That's all you need. It's very confusing if you don't... Well, actually, wait. In this game, the game didn't tell me that that's how it works. So did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's something that you have to learn for yourself. Uh, unfortunately, it is also... Well, not unfortunately, but... It happens to also be part of common folklore. The That trolls are resilient to fire. and Or can only be harmed by fire. Or I think it's just specifically fire. Anyway, there's some specific rules about trolls in, in Dungeons & Dragons. And it's, it's very confusing. So the reason why I'm sleeping for resting is because it effectively is the same thing as just actually just casting the spells except this is just faster on you and on me as well so uh, that's it's just better and we didn't get attacked by anybody we didn't get attacked by anybody yeah but oh man and there's the beetles sure um but yeah that's just it's just a better way of casting the healing spells i never used to do that with with Baldur's Gate though or at least not not that I remember. Oh, this is where all the beetles were. Okay, that should be fine. Oh, they are gonna fart on me. I forgot about that. So it shouldn't be fine. Let's let's make sure that not everybody is at the front for the farts. So we can attack with the normal weapons that we have. Everything seems to be in order. Yeah, and it's just you that are going up there or something. How is the farts gonna do? Okay. Okay, they. The first one is dead. Oh, no. That was bad. Okay, go over here. You haven't farted yet, have you? Mm, that one hasn't farted yet. Let's try to kill you before... Oh, you're not... You're confused. Didn't kill it. Okay, kill the den. Okay, kill it now. Good. We're gonna be fine. There we go. But, of course, in the in enhanced edition of the game... What do you have over there? What is that? You're deaf. Okay, not a problem. In the, in the enhanced edition of the game, what you can do is you can turn on the rest until healed, which I don't particularly like a whole lot because it, it allows you to not have healing spells, effectively. It can be good. Actually, for me, it is pretty good. Because, well, let's just keep doing this for right now. It's fully healed and a little bit more healing over there. I think we're good now. But yeah, basically the rest until healed. Because every 8 hours you heal for like 1d8 or 1d10, depending. I think it is how that works, depending on how your, uh, your class works and all that. The, um, the rest until healed is pretty sweet because it allows you to cast basically spells continuously and that's that's handy unfortunately if you don't have healing spells you just use the the eight out every eight hours you heal for a little bit and that ends up you resting for a hundred weeks <laughs> later in the game you can absolutely do that that's definitely that's definitely a thing that the game allows you to do the nest edition specifically and i don't particularly like the implication the gameplay implication specifically of that uh, but these beetles are they, they're nasty they're really nasty. There's a lot of them as well. I'm trying to get them killed before I 
or at least some of them killed before I mess with the frontliners. But there we go. Okay, there's another beetle at the back. Uh, it's fine, I think. Where's everybody else is having trouble? Okay, let's pull you a little bit to the front and let's see if we can kill that up there. And I think that's fine. Attack that, except for you two. See if we can kill that before it arrives. Probably not going to be able to do that. And it hasn't farted yet. That's kind of weird. Wow. I don't think it did. Lots of damage, though. So another opportunity for us to have a sleepy sleep. Oh, man. You're stuck up there. Yeah, man. They, they just do so much damage. They're worse than the trolls. Uh, although the trolls also do a lot of damage. But, because... Oh, can you imagine if we didn't have ranged combatants? Everybody would be taking damage. Or, not everybody would be, but it would be so much more of a pain. Really, in this case, what you want, I think, is to... Let me see if they, they, they like this. I could go up there with the burning hands. I don't really have too many... ranged... Uh, ranged aggressive spells. Okay. And we don't have healing here at the at the hand either. Okay, so... You attack there. You cast that spell. You attack here. You attack there. You attack here. Actually, you do that, because we can. Just gonna take a little while. And then you're back in form. Okay, oh, and we have level ups. Please don't die. That would be most upsetting. Okay, that's a spell being cast. And wasted, because... I think... Was it wasted? Yes, it was. Because it wasn't fast enough. Okay, everybody but you. Attack that. Please don't let her die. She didn't die. And we got a healing. Oh, is this a dead end? It is not a dead end. It is a huge gauntlet, in fact, that leads us to a dead body. Oh. A dead body with treasure. It's a battle axe plus one. Uh, actually, that's a plus two. Yes, it is. It's a defender, which is good because it's the first weapon that you're finally going to be able to use. <laughs> that is magical, so that that means I don't need the Conlon's hammer. So, this adds to armor class. Oh, this is beautiful. This is exactly what I needed. Uh, magic res missile resistance, 10%. So, it basically works like a shield with specialty or proficiency or something. No, not really. Proficiency for shields just adds armor class against missile. Not really anything else. And uh, plus, yeah, plus two. Normal plus two. And then we have a long sword plus one over here. That isn't anything. Oh, actually, that is. That is a plus two. Long sword roll confusion plus two. That's nice. Nobody uses it. But it is nice nonetheless. What does it do? Because this thing is a plus one, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. What is this? It's a plus two. It doesn't... Oh, no, no. 25% chance the target is confused for one round. I like it. Confusion isn't a very powerful uh, debuff, effectively. It basically... You roll a dice. Or roll a die, I suppose, because it's singular. Uh, to see what effect it has. So it's not like... Confusion itself isn't the effect. It's the result of confusion that is the effect. You can attack your companions or whoever's closest. You can uh, just stay still. Usually that's what happens. Uh, but in general, you just... Uh, for us as players, it means that we can't control the character. But if it's for the enemy, maybe they are confused, but you can't even tell because they are still attacking you because they attack the nearest person or something like that. Or they they attack with disadvantage. Disadvantage is not actually a thing in this, in this setting. They attack... What, what, what actually happens? It's a debuff? I'm not sure what happens when you're, like, doing something... Oh, yeah, it's a minus... It, you just do a minus or a plus. That's what it is, yeah. They simplified that a lot in, in later versions. I'm not sure... I'm not sure I, I like that a whole lot. The, you know, disadvantage and advantage. It's very, very powerful. It is so powerful, especially on, on passive... Um, on passive checks. Because passive checks are different. They're always the same role. They're basically half of your score plus 10. And uh, if you have advantage, they're half of your score plus 15, which means you're rolling a 15 <laughs> every time on a passive check. It, it can be... It's so powerful, especially on perceptions checks. Which is good, because, well, traps are a pain in the ass. But they're only a pain in the ass if your GM wants to make it a pain in the ass. So what do we have here for our mage book, which is very important, because this is the only time we can learn spells. Lance of Disruption. That's something I like that. I like that a lot. What is that? It sh shoots a lance of force, which that. That travels from the caster to a specified point 
100 feet in the distance. Any creatures in the pet Lance's path take 5d4 points of crushing damage, plus 2 points of damage per level of the caster, which, is, which is, you always need to calculate for, like, 20. Level 20, you do 40 damage plus 5d4. That's pretty decent. Oh, it's a maximum of 30, so that's not actually that great. Victim, because, you know, it's actually, it really isn't that great. Uh, what do you, but you need to be also very effective, uh, very careful about the saving throws. Hmm. Ooh, Skull Trap. Skull Trap. I've never used it because the time I, the last time I played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 with a spellcaster, and I did it with a single character, I was an illusionist, much like our other spellcaster, um, and uh, and I should have been a multi-classing illusionist as well, but I wasn't because I did a bad. Uh, but either way, the point is Skull Trap, people tell me, is very important. I never found that it was, because it's just a very finagly thing to use. But let's see. So, upon casting the spell, a skull is thrown by the caster at the target. The skull floats in the area. So, the... I need to look. Casting time, duration, visual range of the caster. So, we can use the, the sight thing to cast this as well. The skull floats in the area until a creature comes within 8 feet of it. Which is pretty important, because that basically is when it triggers a trap. Uh, when this happens, the skull is triggered and explodes, damaging everyone within a 12 feet radius. Which is... Kind of good. It's not amazing, but it is It is pretty good. The magic damage inflicted is equal to 1d6 hit points per level of the caster, with a save versus breath for half. So it is very powerful. Is that, that It doesn't have a maximum. So it, it's a 20d6 points of damage, with a save versus a half, which means that this is good against everybody. This is basic. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's better than the Withering Cloud. Oh my god. Because in the game, this isn't as powerful in, in tabletop. Because in the game, basically, you cast the eye thing, and I think you can cast this. I'm not sure if you can cast it without the eye thing. Oh, that's going to be a pain, a pain. Or maybe we just can sneak. I don't know. I don't know how we are going to be able to cast it, but we're going to find out. Uh, because if it's it's specifically the visual visual range of the caster, so it works re really well with the eye, you know the whatever mage's eye or whatever it's supposed to be. Uh, when casting the spell, it is wise to set it far away from the party, lest they set it off accidentally. Yes, yes. Uh, I I want to cast it on top of enemies. That's what I want to do. But in fact, you can. But it's just yeah. So it, it will wipe your party out. Uh, so I think skull trap is exactly what I want. So I'll go with that. Remove magic is also pretty good, uh, but it's contextual, uh, which means that it would be pretty good, but yeah. Uh, but we can use it for, and also at low level, so we can just set it up on some spell books for the other spellcasters, so I think I'll, I'll be okay with that. Non-detection is pretty interesting as well sometimes. Minor spell deflection, this is fundamental if you're playing as a... Uh, it's because it's on a caster. If you're playing as a single character, you need this. <laughs> Actually, later on, you need the higher level ones. But this is our first level protection or spell protection spell, uh, and it's fundamental. Otherwise, I don't like it. I don't. I, I don't really care. I, I, I would like this if it were cast on my tank, but not like this. The thing is, if your spellcaster is your tank, which they can be. Uh, in fact, we are not going to do that in this playthrough. But you can absolutely do that because you can cast protection from normal weapons and protection from magic weapons, and there it is. No, no damage ever done to you. <laughs> Just like that. And of course, you would need the, then you after that you would need uh, protection from from uh, or not protection, but you need to look out for anything that does spell pierce. For example, we don't have it over here. I think it's level four. Uh, very powerful. It it disables all those protections. Um, so you need to be very careful with that, obviously, because if they have a spellcaster, then they can damage you. But the thing is, yeah, it's um, you can absolutely tank with a spellcaster. Because spellcasters are just abs absurdly powerful. They're it's a lot of fun. I, I like it, it is a lot of fun. There's there's no way around that. Uh, we got a fireball here as well, which I uh, like. But I think I'm good in terms of damage do dealing because that's what everybody else needs. And fireball isn't as powerful later in the game as you would think because uh, it's a uh, ten d six. So <laughs> yeah, it's just it's not as good as skull trap. Just yeah. It's just also, what is the range of fireball? Because I can, I can roughly, I know the range of fireball, or in visual, vi visually, where's the fireball? Fireball over here, uh, fifteen feet radius. So it is, it is twelve feet is a little bit more handleable. Handleable? That's absolutely how that works. So skull trap, because she's not gonna be able to cast it, so we're gonna need it. So it just feels like precisely what I need to do. 
Uh, and we're gonna sleep. That's why we're down here. Save the game. Little ratty. Healing spells cast on rest. That seems to be perfectly okay. Just gonna cast some healing spells here as well. Because I don't believe we need to continue resting for the moment. We're healing very slowly. That's why I like the heal spell. I don't know if it's a full heal. I always thought it was a full heal, but I don't think it is. The heal spell is a, a higher level spell. It's just, it's just like a hand, a blue hand. And it sounds exactly the same, and it's just it's it's just very powerful because it heals you of poison and of ailments, and it's just it's lovely. It's a lovely thing. Okay, we're good. I wonder if the if the reason why my higher level healing spells are not as good. Oh, look at the dead hands. This game, this game loves dead hands. I tell you. Uh, I wonder if the, uh, also, that was the edge. You might not be able to see it because of the compression of YouTube and all that, and also your screen. But my screen allows me to see that, and uh, there is a, a difference between this color and this color. And it's the edge of the map. Um, but, um, well, I was talking about, oh yeah, about the what, the reason why my healing spells might be, or my higher level healing spells might be worse, is that they they proc, with or they, uh, they increase with, with the levels. I'm not sure, but I'm sure we're not done in here. I was gonna, we're not, I'm sure we are. We are done with this episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Icewind Dale. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.